What is up everybody, Big Juicy Hog here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about some of the better ways to level in the game to get to max level as fast as possible with the level squish in the Shadowlands pre-patch. This is meant to be for the average player who wants to level a little bit faster, not for the player who's looking to get to max level in 5 hours. Even for most players who have been playing for the entire WoW cycle, that's a pretty tough task. So my first tip for fast leveling isn't really a tip for fast leveling. If you don't really care about shaving an hour off your time here or there, then by all means just pick your favorite expansion. You will at least enjoy the leveling process a lot more and you won't have to level through the expansions that you would like to avoid in the future. This is still a game and you should do what you find enjoyable regardless of if it's optimal. Another thing is I would definitely avoid the Halloween event that is going on right now as a way to level up. You'll have to gather a lot of candy to even get a single level and it's not worth it unless you're just wanting to farm the candies for pets or whatever. So with that said, these are some of the best ways I've found to level so far. Number 1, Warlords of Draenor. So I know this is going to be a little bit controversial as I think most people dislike this expansion, me included. However, with the new level scaling, it isn't nearly as bad as it once was. Once upon a time, this was one of the toughest leveling experiences as mobs were harder to kill and seemingly hit harder than prior expansions. Now it's pretty much a piece of cake. So on top of that, the things that made leveling decent are still there which add value to your leveling process. There are a couple big advantages in Warlords that give it the edge. While you're doing quests, you also have specific area objectives that will give you a huge experience bonus when you complete them. So, while you're doing quests, you'll also be doing those bonus areas. On top of that, there are a number of treasures around the map that you should be getting. Then, if you're also a gatherer, you have even more easy XP. Now, you aren't going to be making any gold off of the raw materials in this expansion as the garrison's completely ruined that, but you could use them for professions. This is a leveling area I'll probably be using on any characters who have not been through here. I would recommend doing all the bonus areas in a given zone before moving on to the next one. And just a side note, you no longer have to get all the reputations to get Warlords of Draenor flying. Now if you have flying, you'll have it here as well, so that's definitely an advantage. Number 2, Pet Battles. If you're into pet battles, which I'm not, you can gain approximately the equivalent experience of a single quest by winning one battle. Now if you're an expert at this, you can probably level up at an incredible rate. The only downside is that you'll not be getting any gear or gold for the most part. However, the purpose of this is leveling only and everything else is just kind of on the side. Personally, this method would not really work for me, but I wanted to share it for those of you who do like to do pet battles and maybe have an overpowered team that can steamroll fights very quickly. Number 3, Dungeons. Dungeons are a nice way to level, as the first time you do a dungeon you usually get several quests to complete as well. This, along with the amount of XP you get just from killing all the mobs, adds up pretty quickly. On top of that, you're going to gain additional XP and rewards from using the random dungeon feature. My recommendation would be to use the LFG as much as possible until you're having trouble getting new dungeons to pop up where you still have quests to complete. Then you can do them individually. Once you've completed all the dungeon quests, go back to using LFG. Obviously being a tank or a healer are usually the most advantageous as you get the most rewards. I'm a big fan of dungeons and will be running this in addition to the Warlords of Draenor content to get to level 50 as soon as possible. One thing to keep in mind with the dungeons is that you're at the mercy of your teammates. So if you get into a dungeon that has some kind of mechanic that needs to be done, Keep in mind that your teammates might be too dumb to do it and you might have to leave that dungeon. So that is going to be it for my tips for today. I hope you enjoyed this short leveling guide. Nothing here is really revolutionary, but I thought I would drop some knowledge on the new information. Give these methods a try and see how they work out for you. If you have any other good methods, let me know in the comments down below. Good luck everyone getting that max level character before Shadowlands drops.